Taurus, welcome to your October 2018 hair reading. My name is Serafina Safi and I present Enchanted Mirror Tarot. Oh. oh, a whole bunch just fell out. It's the central theme of Taurus's reading. Listening. I see a lot of communication coming in. It's a lot of like um, energetic, passionate communication coming in from a, people that are very knowledgeable. And you need to listen. The whole story. I have a whole story here. I have the Six of Swords in the reverse. So there was delays in travel. You weren't able to transition in life to a new phase. There was a block. There could have been a block in communication. And that, that's actually happening presently. I have the Ten of Wands in the reverse. And the Ten of Wands is you're holding to to me you actually know because it's in the reverse you're releasing burdens i see you releasing burdens here releasing things that once weighed you down there was a block in communication in the past and it, it hindered your right of passage your nest your your right of transition and i see you releasing things that once weighed you down coming into October. Um, it could be a love relationship that failed or any type of relationship. There's a failed relationship here. Um, you thought that it was pure, but it turned out to be something more, more passionate, but the passion fizzled out and became, it became too down to earth, too practical. The passion died see the passion die it was once something very innocent and beautiful and then the passion just died out in it it could be anything it could be a job it could be a romantic relationship and I see you releasing that you're looking for your new adventure you're leaving the past behind you and you're looking out towards the future and I see that there once what were obstacles surrounding you but because this is in the reverse those obstacles are being faded away and you're able to actually go on this adventure now it's up in the air it's um, it, it, it's something that's changing there's there's a change here a transition I see an imbalance here. There's an injustice. We have the six of pentacles in the reverse. There's an injustice here. Um, instead of being in a position to give, you're in a position where you have to take. The, the scales have flipped. There's an injustice here. And I see a loss. It could be your health deteriorating. Something, something's deteriorating here. It's all leading up to something. Yeah, it's, it, it's all progressing. I have the Seven of Cups in the reverse. We could be dealing with just this nasty character. They're a snake in the grass. They're very treacherous and deceitful. They wear a mask. Um, it could be the narcissist that we were dealing with, you guys were dealing with, um, Tauruses were dealing with in September. But yeah, this person wears a mask, they don't show their true self. And they're very hateful and mean and very deceptive. I, 
this is I the Emperor can sometimes be Taurus and sometimes and mostly it's Aries but it can so it's either Aries or Taurus and it, it's somebody who is not a good father figure um, yeah we're definitely dealing with a really bad person here this is a really bad person it could be an Aries a Scorpio I'm seeing more Scorpio so you could be dealing with a Scorpio here and this is a very nasty person and Scorpio it's somebody who's very um, possessive who doesn't really trust a lot who's very highly emotional secretive who uses sex as a weapon who's very mysterious And this person's wearing a mask, not showing their true self. And they're like really mean. <laughs> really, this they could actually be physically abusive. Like they're really bad. This is a really bad person who could actually be physically abusive. It could be an Aries or a Scorpio. But I'm seeing more Scorpio. I see new, uh, a new adventure coming in. It's like the start. It has the inception, the idea. So there's a new adventure coming in. And I see you being very eager, um, ambitious to take up this new endeavor. Uh, it could be a new job or just a new adventure. You're traveling somewhere, new travels. Uh, and with that card, I, we could be talking about Aries too. So it's either an Aries or a Scorpio. I don't see any new emotional beginnings. Actually, I see, I see some uh, money and peace and harmony lost. Uh, I see tears. I see crying. I see somebody who the Queen of Swords in the reverse. I see somebody who doesn't care about other people's emotions or feelings, who just speaks the truth no matter how painful it is, who has a very sharp tongue. It's a very sharp tongued individual. Uh, it could be verbally abusive. I'm seeing physical and verbal abuse here. see the central theme is listening so the central theme is listening and then we transition to the six of swords which is a rite of passage but that's been blocked there was a block in communication or there's some sort of block that's blocking you from getting to where you need to be but I see that you are releasing some of your baggage you're releasing you're releasing your burdens And I'm actually seeing this more as a love relationship. The lovers are in the reverse. So this is an ending of some sort of relationship. And I see that there's new adventures on the horizon and you're looking at them and you're contemplating doing, doing that. And it's, it went from this um, up in the air type of, I'm going to travel here, I'm going to do this to I'm making a logical plan of action and then this is where it gets kind of nasty and it's like I see this towards the middle of October that this happens I see that you're in a position to give but you become very greedy there's a lot of greed here and instead of being able to give you have to take and that leads to this nasty energy coming in that's very deceitful very that's wearing a mask that's very theatrical and this could be like physically abusive verbally abusive a really bad character this is like a mafia boss type person 
that doesn't care about you at all, that only cares about their end agenda. And I see a new adventure, a new adventure coming here. And I see that there, yeah, there's a lot of like emotions because of this failed relationship. A lot of your peace and security, financial security is very strong. Financial security, emotional security is just lost. And I don't see any new beginnings here. I see verbal abuse. I see, I see someone who speaks the truth no matter how hard it is to hear. And you don't want to hear it. You're blocking that. And you're setting out on a new adventure. And you don't want to listen. But you know that you're going to have to. And I see you listening to your intuition. Listening to your friends. Your friends are telling you. They're saying this is a bad person. You need to stay away from this person. And you, you don't want to hear that. You want to believe that there's good in everybody and you want to be able to trust. And this person is offering you the sun, moon, and stars. This person is offering you everything. And presently, I think I feel like you know this person. Presently, you know this person. You know exactly who I'm talking about. This is a very nasty person. And your friends are telling you, go stay away from this person. And your intuition is telling you, stay away from this person. And you're like, but I don't want to see. I just want to trust. I want to trust this person. And whenever you trust this person, I mean, you end up hurt. There, I see a loss here. There's a loss here. And they're wearing a mask. And that's the only reason that you want to trust them is because they're wearing the mask. You're not actually looking at who they are. You're looking at the past. And I see sadness here. There's a lot of sadness. There's um, quite a few. I, I am definitely seeing some conflict. There, there's a lot of fire energy here that's in the reverse. So it's there's a lot of impatience here. There's a lot of um, being argumentative, combative. And then we have a lot of air energy in the reverse. So that's somebody who's very rebellious and who gives up too soon. And then I see a little bit of emotions and all the emotions are negative. And then I just have a little bit of your energy. And in your energy, I'm seeing you more being in the greedy aspect of Earth. The more materialistic aspect of Earth. And I'll see you being in the good aspect, the positive, upright aspect of Earth. Towards the middle of the month. The rest of the time, you're in this very get her done type attitude. It actually starts out not that bad. October starts out not that bad for you. It's just there's a block. It's inconvenient. Stay out of that. It's inconvenient. But I see this fire brewing underneath of you. And then I see like this, there's a climax here. And the climax leads to like this materialism and a loss. There's a loss here. And it leads to this nasty person coming in. And it's somebody from the past. Because I see you looking at the past and listening. And then the Seven of Cups is all about nostalgia. And then we have the Queen of Swords in the reverse. So again, I'm getting this Gemini. Gemini or Virgo energy. Um, it's a mutable sign. It's ruled by Mercury. Mercury is the trickster. 
it rules over communication. So this could be a socialite, somebody that you communicate a lot with. And it ends in ambition. It ends in aggression. It ends in the emperor reversed. And it ends in the page of wands in the upright. Those two cards together combined. So it looks like this strong leader is out. <laughs> Who have, it could have it could be whoever's like leading a corporation or a household is out, and then a new, younger, fresher version that's very ambitious and full of life steps in. So an old leader is out. So it could be like old ways are out and new ways are in. So you change your ways. I see you ultimately changing your ways from this negative, these negative patterns to something more positive, something more ambitious. So you have bad habits here. These are bad habits. I see that there could be addictions here. There's addictions. Actually, if we look at this as addictions, I, I see that they're blocking you and your addictions, you're releasing them, and you're breaking the relationship, and you're looking towards something different, and you're able to, you're, you're taking more than you're giving uh, health-wise, so your addictions are taking, took from your health, And your addictions, like you saw it as something that it actually wasn't was it wasn't it wasn't what it what actually was. It was very nasty. But you're releasing that and you're starting a new adventure. Hey Taurus, thank you so much for joining me today. I can't see my mouth.